I'm going to be showing you how to convert your GIF animations to AVI video files. Uh, very quick and very easy in a very free way using uh, a well-known program called Virtual Dub. It's actually a NEL, a nonlinear uh, video editor, but it's very easy. This is a free program, like I mentioned before. It's a small program. It's portable. It doesn't install on your computer. And let's get to it. Open your browser, and you're going to go to www.virtualdub.org, and there you go. You can there's the documentation and filters and plugins and things here. If you're going, you know, maybe later on you'll find some use for it. I have to use Virtual Dub mostly to. Um, embed subtitles onto videos what you want to do is just click the downloads button we're going to download it from SourceForge another very well-known site for publicly licensed freeware here are your two there is one for a 32-bit version of Windows and another one for the 64-bit version of Windows if you don't know whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit, go down here, click the Start page, click Control Panel, scroll down and click on System, and then go all the way down here where it says System Type, 64-bit Operating System. So Start, Control Panel, System, and you'll find your System Type, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit. Okay, then you're going to Download whichever one you need oh, I wish I knew how to work and I'll assume, what do you want to do I want to save it, it's not quite okay, two, one well, that's the longest seconds okay open the folder it's downloads now if you have Chrome or Firefox or some other one like I usually use how do you get to your downloads folder you may know you may not know let me show you how here click the start button up here and click your name or avatar whatever you've chosen to call yourself as administrator and there's your downloads folder and if you scroll down you're going to see here's a virtual dub it's a zip folder right click on it extract all click the extract button and it's going to tell me now I have a folder up here my machine's only a couple of months old there it is so I'm going to minimize or actually I can click that closed I am just going to take any the whole folder I've already got one up here and let's drag it over here. Okay. I'm going to take the whole folder and drag it up onto my uh, desktop. Okay. When you open it, you'll see all kinds of, of uh, ooh, this one's different than the one I have. And let me, never fails. Huh? There we go. Okay, see this VW64? This is the one you want to click on to open the program. And there it is. That's all there is to it. It doesn't install. You don't have to go through installation. You don't have to worry about installing uh, Open Candy, you know, toolbars or search engines that you don't want. It's just there. Now, look how easy it is. Click on File open video file and I have some uh, little gifts in here already I'm going to open this little bird now the problem with virtual dub is you can only do one at a time but that's okay here's my little bird now see how hard it is click on file again click on save is AVI and I don't want it in my documents just put it back in my pictures and click save and that's all there is to it Okay, file, close this video file. Let's do another one that's a little bit different. 
for a reason. I'm gonna Oh, let's do the Let's do the bear. Panda. File. Save as AVI. I'm gonna put it back into pictures. We're gonna save it. That's as fast as that one is. And we're done. You can close it out if you want, or you can just close the program. And now you can close Virtual Dub. That's as fast as it was. Now, let's open Movie Maker, because I'm going to show you a couple of things about dealing with GIFs you've turned into AVIs that you don't have to worry about. Let me open my copy of Windows Live. I'm going to go on my pictures already. I don't know why that does it like that. And you look for the file that has this little icon on it. it. means it's a movie. And you open it and there's your bird. But now watch. That's it. This GIF, only this bird's arm moves and only has two positions. Straight up and to the side. There you go. Because a GIF animation will loop endlessly. It'll just play over and over and over again. A video is not going to do that. So what you need to do is right click and copy it and then right click paste right click paste right click paste you know however long you want this to run and then whoops and then put your bar at the beginning and then your little bird will wave the other thing to notice about these gifs is gifs are made to be displayed either on a web page or embedded in an email they're very small files and they're very low resolution. And so you get this pixelation. It's best if you want to add a GIF animation to a video to pick a fairly large sized one. You notice how nice it looks here as it's small. You know, the lines are tight and everything. But then when you look at it here, and if you save it, it looks even worse. Here, let's... Uh, Let's add our panda bear here. There's our panda. Same thing. He makes one somersault. Let's copy him. Let's paste him a couple of times here. Let's put our bar at the beginning. And we can play him. Now he's a little bit bigger than the bird, so he's not quite as pixelated, but he still looks a little fuzzy. We're going to save this. Here's a trick. Click on burn a DVD and you'll save it as a D high quality DVD quality. Um, I'm just going to call this one GIF AVI test. Ooh, capitalize. And I'm saving it to my desktop. Okay. Next, you're going to get this about adding things to your DVD. Just cancel it. And you want to save it. No, I don't want to actually save this. Okay. And we're done. Save changes? No. Boy, it sure bothers you enough about that, doesn't it? Now let's go hunting over here for my movie. It says it's on the desktop here somewhere. Come on, babe. Oh, there. No. Oh, never fails. Oh, there it is, way over here. Now, let's click on it. And you can see that as it gets larger, it gets even fuzzier and fuzzier looking. Now, if you have a, a photo editing program, and the new versions of, of Photoshop Elements, etc., will not open GIF animations. The older versions, like the version 6 or version 4, I don't know about version 7, but they will open GIFs, so you can resize them. But even resizing them up or changing, if you change the resolution, they get really smaller. If you make them just bigger, they get more fuzzy. So if you want to put a GIF animation, make sure you pick a large one. Let's watch it again. There's our bird. There's our panda. Another thing you can try is changing the size via converting. And yeah, this guy likes to update at the beginning. 
Let's add him to these on my desktop. Windows 7 has a glitch. You can't save things directly to or get things directly from the desktop. And it just drives some of us crazy. Okay. Open it. Skip AVI test. Make sure that's the same one. Yeah. And I'm going to convert this to Windows Media. And I'm going to resize it down to something smaller. Now, this won't work when you're using it with other video files. Because video files have a set frame size. Uh, other thing you could try. Hmm. Let's try that. Well, let's not. Okay, let's take it down to 640 by 480. Let's see if that does any better. I don't think it will, but... Okay, done. Find it here. There it is. No. Made it a little smaller, but not by much. Okay. Well, I hope this helps. Virtual Dub is just a wonderful video editor for, for doing simple things really well. It, it does what it does excellently. And I uh, hope this helps. I wanted to show you, uh, if you have a regular video clip and you've turned it into a, a GIF and then you turn it back into an AVI, this is what it looks like. It's very good quality.